This is a quick video on a 2007 Mule 610. Um, I just wanted to show how you can actually add a lawnmower style battery to it um, without having to go through great lengths to actually modify the battery tray that's on it. Um, you can do it. Actually, if you have a piece of metal, kind of like one of these over here, you can actually do it for about under 10 bucks. Um, when I actually got this machine, it did have a lawnmower style battery and someone had pretty much just set it over here on the passenger side. Um, they added to the existing uh, battery cables and just kind of strapped it over there, um, over by the gas tank and my winch solenoid and all that stuff. But that's not the right way. So. Um, I actually switched back to the original style battery. Um, I went and got a new battery and I always usually buy the better batteries and all this stuff. Um, it was a Yuasa YTX 14. Um, and I put it back to stock, put it in there and I've run it for a couple of years now, but when they die, they die quick. Uh, there's not much warning to them, and that's even with me charging them every so often, uh, you know, with a battery tender, all that stuff. But if you're running lights, you're running your winch, you're plowing with this thing, chances are the battery's going to puke. And when they do, like I say, it happens quick. So I was like, you know what? I'm going back to the lawnmower style battery, which has more, more cold cranking amps and more capacity to it. Obviously, it's still a 12-volt battery. But what I found out was when you're trying to add this style battery, um, you know, uh, to your mule, um, for one, there's it looks like there's not a lot of space. When you first look at this, you're like, how would I ever get one of these batteries in there? Well, guess what? It's almost exactly perfect for a lawnmower style battery. The tray, if it was just a little bit wider, and had a hole in it, you could use the existing L uh, bolts and make yourself an, a new strap or whatever, and it would work perfect. But, um, like I say, the biggest problem was there's no way, and I don't have it, I actually lightly assembled this so that I can show you the finished product, but um, there's no way of using, there's a L bolt that obviously bolts up this top strap you can see the bolt right there well down underneath this it's just an L let's see if we can get that right here it's just an L uh, bolt and right there also those are the stock standard holes that come in your tray as you can see that battery barely sticks out not by much. And actually it's shoved out a little bit more because of the width of this uh, L bolt or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I found out a quick and easy way. I thought of it a quick and easy way to actually use almost all your standard equipment or whatever you want to say. Um, but here is a, let's see if we can get that. Here's a quarter by three inch eye bolt. Let's see if we can get that. It's just an eye bolt. That's a three inch one. Comes with one nut. This eyelet is larger than if you get the, let's see right here, quarter by two and five eighths eye bolt. These eye bolts I got at Tractor Supply. Um, then I ended up having to go to Lowe's and I bought some of this material. I'll show you right here. That is just heavy duty gripping pad, um, which I wanted to use for the top strap of the battery. I also, you'll need these square nuts, quarter by 20 square nuts. That's one side, there's the other. 
This nut was the original nut that was on the eye bolt. This was just another one that I got because it's a little bigger and I wasn't exactly sure what would fit in there. Just to show you a different reference, this is a larger setup that I bought also, just in case. That is a oops, 5 16 by 4 inch. The problem is, on the bottom of this tray, right there, on the bottom of your battery tray, this is actually bent down. There's a hole right there from the factory where this uh, bolt would hook into there to strap your, your battery down. What you need is you have to use these little square nuts. You have to use these little square nuts because if you take the square nut, I'll show you here. If you take that square nut and angle the point up into the bottom of that tray, it allows this quarter 20 bolt to lay flat so that it's not angled down towards the ground because anything bigger, you know, as far as a nut and or the bolt diameter, it's going to try to angle the whole thing down. This allows it to lay flat this way. And let me see. So on both sides, on both sides, I used the quarter 20 square nuts. Then I put um, this other nut just to use as like a jam nut. It takes up some of the distance. Um, like I say, allowing this eye bolt to actually be adjustable. But I use that one. It's a little bit bigger than the, the one that comes on it. And I use that as the... Uh, gee, I'm not, but I'll show you while we're right here. You can see that that bolt now goes straight up the side of that battery. There's the inside one. That one's hooked. They're just lightly in there right now. Just It's easier to just show how this came out than it is to do it piece by piece. But... Another thing you'll need to make is this is your top strap. That's what came on the original battery. And that measures about center to center is about four and a half, we'll say. That's the standard one. This right here was a piece of... Uh, stock that I had I was going to actually make this top strap but I got looking around the garage and I actually had these and these are uh, brackets for a garage door the nice part is they're thick they're really sturdy and they won't flex as much but they already come pre-drilled from the last hole to this bolt is six inches from center to center is basically six on on the button but I, I ended up making a bracket not this one but I made a bracket for this battery cut it at the just past six inches and found that the six inch if I were to use those holes it's a little much so I ended up drilling another hole right in between actually and then just cutting it at the this hole but it ended up landing right at five and a half inches so this from there to there is five like I say if you use that hole to this hole that's five I had to drill another hole so it land right there then I just cut it here round it off cleaned it up painted it real quick and I took this grip pad which is adhesive on one side really rubbery on the other side um, laid it on there cut it right down glued it to the back 
and that's what you're seeing up here is that bracket <clears throat> after I made it. Like I say, center to center, five and a half on those. You'll need some sort of bracket, but the biggest problem was that quarter 20 eye bolt. Once you make that, I'll show you one last time. Where is it? Oh. Once you make that so that you can actually hook on the outside of that battery, you're all set. So, um, another thing that I found was that a lawnmower battery will fit right up in there from the bottom. All you have to do is take that battery and kind of jiggle it up in there, you know, move a couple things. Or you don't have to actually move anything really you don't have to unbolt anything but if you just jiggle it up in there set it on that tray get that eye bolt down on the bottom lay it into place and then make your top bracket it's actually pretty simple and it costs next to nothing like i say mine's lightly set in there right now um one other thing too about this is <clears throat> let me see if i can point to that um, on your, oops, on your battery cable, I, so I have the main battery cable, obviously, and then I have the winch cable. If you take those and use them backwards, use your main, um, uh, cables backwards, if you spread them just a little bit with two sets of pliers, then you can get your bolt in through there, which it goes in fine. It's not, that's not the issue. It's just getting a socket onto the actual head of that 10 millimeter. Um, but it's, it's very easy to just barely spread them. This one is negative. You can see it's kind of marred up. That was actually from someone else. That was not me. They do not have to look like that. You can just, like I say, lightly spread them and flip them over backwards and then take your, um, winch cable here in your regular uh, ground and bolt them right up like i say it's it's pretty simple after you know what you need so that is that's about it hope this helps you set up your machine thanks